BMW prides itself on making the ultimate driving machines. While that certainly is a topic to debate over, the Bavarian carmaker has, on many occasions, gotten it right when it comes to giving us a proper driver's car. Performance and motorsport pedigree has been embedded in the vast majority of BMW models, even those that don't have the full M treatment. Naturally, it is BMW Motorsports division that provides the most badass beamers you can buy. Although BMW currently doesn't offer a flagship supercar like most of its peers, its M-badged sports cars are oftentimes able to give even exotic models a run for their money. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 fastest BMW sports cars ranked. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome auto guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So let's cut to the chase. At 10, 1999 BMW Z8, 161 miles per hour. The BMW 507 is a curious case of a car that became an automotive icon long after its rather unsuccessful debut. Although celebrities such as Elvis Presley had a 507, sometimes more than one, the Bavarian Roadster managed to achieve only one-tenth of the sales of its main rival, the Mercedes 300 SL. In 1999, the retro-futuristic design trends had already started picking up and BMW decided to capitalize on that by introducing the Z8 as a modern-day homage to the 507. Underneath the Henrik Fisker-designed body lay the M5 E39's S52 engine. The 4.9-litre V8 produced identical 400 horsepower and 369 pound-feet to the M5 while paired with a six-speed manual. The Z8 managed a sprint to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds. Earlier examples were limited to 155 miles per hour, but later that rose to 161 miles per hour. Delimited, each of the 555 units produced could reach 180 miles per hour. At 9, 1978 BMW M1, 165 miles per hour. Even back in the 1970s, BMW was meddling in fast sports cars. The mid-engine layout was not a usual sight for the brand, but BMW wanted a car that would enter motorsports and compete against its arch-rival Porsche. The Bavarian car maker teamed up with Lamborghini, which led to a variety of problems surrounding the car's production. In the end, just 453 examples of the BMW M1 were made. The Giorgetto Guigaro-designed body meant the car resembled Italian exotics like the Lamborghini Jalpa and Eureko. The 3.5-litre M88 inline six engine was capable with its 277 horsepower and 243 pound-feet. Together with a five-speed ZF manual and a limited slip differential, 0 to 60 miles per hour happened in 5.6 seconds and a top speed of 165 miles per hour. In the end, the car saw some racing in a one-make championship against itself. At 8, the 2022 BMW M2, 177 miles per hour. The G87 M2 is the first rear-wheel drive BMW to drop into the three-second range. The entry-level M Coupe comes only as a rear-wheel drive proposition, but still manages 3.9 seconds to 60 miles per hour. For this, you need to opt for the ZF 8-speed automatic, which is 0.2 seconds quicker than the manual M2. The S58 3.0-litre twin-turbo inline-6 is a derivative of the B58 that makes 460 horsepower and 405 pound-feet. With bulging fenders and chunky front and rear aprons featuring large air ducts, the M2 is a visual overload. If you opt for the M driver's package, the top speed limiter extends from 155 miles per hour to 177 miles per hour. That's better. At 7, the 2023 BMW 3.0-litre CSL, 186 miles per hour. Last year, BMW unveiled an M4 CSL-based homage to the BMW 3.0-litre CSL Batmobile. BMW announced that only 50 examples will be built, each with a price tag of, well, just $750,000. While not exactly the performance bargain of the century, the S58 twin-turbo inline-6 has been pumped up to 560 horsepower, while the torque has been limited to 405 pound-feet. That's because, just like the 1972 original, the 2023 3.0-litre CSL comes exclusively as rear-wheel drive and with a six-speed manual. The generous use of carbon fibre has resulted in a 3,582-pound curb weight figure, which is 165 pounds lighter than a standard M4 manual. 
While not confirmed, the predicted 0 to 60 miles per hour time for the 2023 3-litre CSL is around 3.8 seconds, since a standard M4 manual needs 4 seconds. Meanwhile, the modern 3-litre CSL can accelerate to 186 miles per hour. Next up at 8, the 2024 BMW M3 CS, 188 miles per hour. In any of its versions, the BMW M3 G80 and G81 is an overachiever. In M3 CS guys, the Bavarian Performance sedan is at its quickest. Unlike the M4 CSL, the weight-saving diet wasn't as drastic. The M3 CS lost just 75 pounds to the standard car's weight, which translates to 3,891 pounds. Not exactly lightweight, but thanks to the clever tech like the ZF 8-speed automatic and all-wheel drive system, the BMW M3 CS manages 0-60 mph in 3.2 seconds on its way to 188 mph top speed. This is on par with the official time of the BMW M3 Competition X-Drive, from which we have seen numbers as low as 2.9 seconds. Like the M4 CSL, the S58 engine in the M3 CS has received a bump in power to 550 horsepower. Next up at 5, 2022 BMW M8 Competition, 189 miles per hour. The current flagship of BMW's internal combustion lineup is the M8 Competition. Unlike its E31 predecessor, the modern-day 8 Series doesn't bring V12 engines to the table, instead opting for downsized 4.4-litre twin-turbo V8s. In its most powerful form, the M8 competition, the S63B44B, packs 625 horsepower and 553 pound-feet. We won't delve into how real those figures are, but we will say that combined with BMW's X-Drive all-wheel drive system and an 8-speed ZF automatic, 0-60 mph takes 3.0 seconds. Publications like Car and Driver report times as low as 2.5 seconds, but we don't know whether this includes a 5 mph rollout or not. What we know is that the M8 competition can sprint to 189 mph. The BMW M8 competition is the automotive equivalent of a cruise missile that combines supercar performance with luxury car comfort. And now at 4, really hotting up now, 2015 BMW M6 competition, 190 miles per hour. BMW ticked many boxes right with the E63 6 Series and the M6 was one of them. The F13 generation that followed may not have offered an F1-derived V10 engine, but it also didn't have its issues. The F13 M6 is one of the more reliable BMW M cars you can find, if properly maintained, and its 4.4-litre twin-turbo V8 packs up to 600 horsepower in competition trim. Torque is rated at 516 pound-feet, with X-Drive and a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic complementing the V8, you can blast to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds on a top speed of 190 miles per hour, all while sitting in comfort and luxury. Even if you go for the more practical F06 M6 Grand Coupe, which was four doors instead of two, performance remains the same. At 3, 2022 BMW M5 CS. 190 miles per hour. In 2021, BMW decided to bestow the competition sport treatment to its M5, a high-performance sedan. Previously, this treatment was exclusive to the M3 model as well as the M2 and M4 names in more recent times. The F90 BMW M5 CS is the most powerful M5 ever with 635 horsepower and 553 pound-feet from its revised 4.4-litre twin-turbo V8 although we suspect BMW is playing its usual games when it comes to horsepower ratings. More generous use of carbon fibre, 7mm lower suspension with shock absorbers initially developed for the M8 Grand Coupe and other chassis enhancements make this the most tracked-focused M5. It also makes it the first BMW to officially drop into the two-second club with a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 2.9 seconds. More importantly, the speedometer doesn't stop climbing until an autobahn-friendly 190 miles per hour. And now at 2, wait for it, 2023 BMW M4 CSL, 191 miles per hour. Remember the BMW 3-litre CSL from earlier? This is what it's based on. The 2022 BMW M4 CSL is a more hardcore variant of the M4 competition that focuses on track usability. 
It features body panels from carbon fiber reinforced plastic and the 3 liter S58 twin turbo inline 6 has been bumped to 550 horsepower with torque remaining at 479 pound feet. However, dyno tests revealed that the M4 CSL's horsepower figure has been downplayed by a significant margin. Like the 3 litre CSL Homage, the M4 CSL is rear wheel drive only, but unlike the 3 litre CSL, it manages power exclusively through the 8 speed ZF automatic. This combination is good for a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3.5 seconds and a top speed of 191 miles per hour. And finally, at number one, drum roll please. BMW M5 E60, 204 miles per hour. The BMW E60 had big shoes to fill after the tremendous success of the E39 5 Series. This went double for the M version of the car, which is why BMW went balls out, pardon the expression, and put a Formula 1 derived 5 litre V10 engine in the E60. With a red line of 8,250 RPM, the engine produced one of the most distinctive soundtracks of all BMW M cars while producing 507 horsepower and 383 pound-feet. Even more bonkers was the fact you could still get one with a six-speed manual, although sadly most customers opted for the jerky SMG unit. Even so, the 0-60 mph was possible in 4.5 seconds. When in M mode, the speed limiter dropped, allowing you to reach the supercar-like 204 miles per hour. To this day, this is, officially, the fastest M car ever made that you could drive on a public road. And there you have the top 10 fastest BMW sports cars ranked. Did you like what you saw? I know I did. Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fantastic auto guides. See you next time.